very fortunate to have in our backyard the Humane Society of Huron Valley. It's literally only about a mile from us. And for many, many years, any feline leukemia kitties that came in, we took them right away. But back in, I think it was about 2016, they decided they wanted to adopt them out. And we had spent a lot of time talking with their vets about protocols for testing and, you know, what kind of environment they could live in. And since that point, the Maine Society here on Valley does adopt out all the leukemia cats that come in, you know, by way of, you know, drop-offs or, you know, when they find them. Same thing goes with Michigan Humane. We had worked with their vets down in the Detroit office of Michigan Humane, um, meeting with them, talking with them, and they now adopt them out in all of their regional facilities, but um, one of the main ones is in their Howell location. And we still, every once in a while, we recently, I would say in the last six weeks, took in two cats from the Howell location. They just not had any luck placing two really good looking tuxedo boys. And so we happened to have a space in a foster home. And so we took them in. Um, we've been trying to work with a lot of shelters to try to, you know, give them tips on how to, you know, talk to your, you know, potential adopters that come in. Um, one of the biggest things is, you know, don't flash FELV at the top of the, you know, cage card or whatever. You need to educate them about that, but it's so easy to scare people off right away if they see that. And instead, talk about what it means. At the Humane Society, they recently moved some of the cats into their communal space. Again, they're segregated, but they used to be in their admin office which worked great because they could have upwards of 10, 15 cats in there. Um, that would be always one way if you have an admin office in your shelter to have the cats in there. They make great companions for everybody working in the offices. <laughs> and then you can just bring in the clients or potential adopters into a conference room and let do a meet and greet that way. Um, so most of our work with rescues and shelters in particular have been trying to just do some education about um, the testing, and what to expect um, if you take a kitty home that has feline leukemia.